the white lady was following the cases of the mysterious deaths of veterans and the humanoid sightings. Her hunch was that these were all somehow connected. Maybe this was a resurgence of the forces of the Viper Queen. She called Raven as she had spotted a couple of insect humanoid beings sneaking about in the alleyways. The white lady told Raven that she'd caught a break in her investigations about the cicada humanoids and asked her to come out tonight. However, not really feeling it as she had just activated her sentient M unit, Raven refused. But later she did feel a bit bad about it. White lady, meanwhile, was understanding. The two had been in a lot of missions in the past. She figured Raven might need a well-deserved vacation from all the fighting. Across the city, the cold wind flowed through bare windows and dancing holograms. It rattled loose pipings and rusted building platings all across the dark city. The typhoon at this point was way out in the ocean. It's windy, but not as wet. Filomeno and Athena decided to take shelter at an old and abandoned burger machine stand. It was too quiet, and Filomeno knew why. A voice in all of the moving shadows along the streets called out, telling Filomeno to let the child go. Filomeno yelled at the dark, telling it that this was his daughter. Because of the situation, Athena stood up and crawled out of the burger machine stand and ran out into the dark to Philomena's shock. Athena was pulled away and placed in an egg containment force field. The owl then dropped from above and slammed onto the roof of the burger machine stand, completely destroying it. 